Make sure to check out the Patreon for exclusive shows, as well as if you want to recommend me videos to react to, I have a weekly post where you can comment your recommendations and they will be put into my watch list. Welcome back, guys, to another recommended video and a first-time reaction by Jernane. A first-time reaction to Zykers or any other music video slash performance videos if you don't want to do a first-time reaction. I'll do a first-time reaction. I'll do it. I'll do it. This name has always been in my comment section. Uh, AT's is Little Brothers, the KQ, um, the Rookies. Let's finally do it. I remember... I, I don't know anything about their sound. I haven't heard a snippet of them. I don't know how they look like. I do know that people are like, if you like hip hop, you'll like them. But I don't like hip hop. <laughs> I don't like hip hop. You get a surprise. You like you like rap though. It's very interesting. I like K-pop songs and I like an impactful rapper. <laughs> but a full hip hop song, I don't know if I can do. For me, I think I'm more of that ballad vocally type of preference versus the hip hop preference and R&B. Yeah, I need a climax. I need, yeah, I need a strong vocalist. So we'll see. And they debuted very recently, one year ago, like two months before I started YouTube. So we kind of debuted at the same time. So we'll see how they sound like. Psychos, Psychos. <laughs> That's the correct. Psychos? Zygers. Their most viewed and their debut song is Tricky House, Tokebiji, The Goblin House. So that could be first. And then their second most viewed, Homeboy. And then the most recent comeback, We Don't Stop. I know Homeboy and another song, Do or Die, right? Is there a double title? But we'll do these three for now. <sighs> Tricky House. Yeah. <sighs> March 28th. <laughs> yeah. Man, we are in the ghetto, huh? What? <laughs> Bro, spatial awareness. <laughs> Yo, bro, dude. You wanna hear my mixtape? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> well. Oh, my. I wanna compare to 80s. Wow, we're going Latin pop, huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> One more time. Okay, I'm guessing he's the main rapper. Very quirky and playful vocal tone, huh? Oh, oh. Oh. Just threw off the will o -wisps. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of 80s flair. Very hype dance club song. Okay. <laughs> what the <laughs> microphone? Who is this guy? <laughs> is this the KQ CEO? <laughs> what do I feel like he is? <laughs> Just to like support their new group that they're debuting. He's definitely the CEO. Hey. Hey. What? Hey, <laughs> Ajashi? Oh, okay. Second rapper. Hold on. 
The rappers, they're they're both very playful and quirky, huh? huh. Story arc. <laughs> what is he doing? Where are the Lambo? Is that a four? Is that a four? I don't know. I guess it's like you know your your boring nine to five uh life daily routine. Here's a Zyker song to hype you up, right? And this is this is the life. They played what the crane dolls to win some games. They gave him a Lambo to have fun. I guess yeah, it's like a day to kind of splurge on himself. Lot to discuss. A lot to discuss. You'll clean up after yourself, bro. <laughs> clean up after yourself. And at the end of the day, we're just back to our shitty daily routine. <laughs> and it was just all a dream. You know, how many members? Oh, are the the brooms the members? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, I think ten members, huh? Rappers are obviously say there's nothing more else to say about them. Oh, for a song, I do not think this was a song to debut with. I do not think this was you you needed to sound completely different from ATs. The song is great in itself, but I don't agree with yeah, trying to this I could imagine this being it. Yeah, I, we have to, we have to, we have to compare this with ATs. This this the Latin pop? The I think it's just the Latin pop. That's it. Just completely change the genre from the Latin pop. Everything else, it just reminded me of like a club EDM song. I mean, they even co incorporated the signature bark, right? Yeah, I think that is just one thing that you shouldn't have done. It's a completely separate group. You shouldn't be making it sound similar to 80s whatsoever. I think this chorus... I mean, these are great at concerts, but for the listen overall listening experience and the song, I don't think it really is doing it for me. And uh, the rappers, I just feel like the highlight of this was the rappers. And I think that is the one aspect of 80s that... It didn't really like too much the, the talk box and lion pop is a genre that i'm very neutral in kind of like how why crazy form didn't really click with me because it really accentuated that genre the most so right now i'm kind of iffy they got great aspects here and there but i want to see like what their next song sounds like if they continue with this concept i just don't think that mm, that i might vibe with them too much we'll see oh it's very tricky it's very it's a very tricky house I rapping for the build up is always good. This is why I like ATS is fireworks a lot. It's rated very highly. Let's go, homeboy. Whoa! <laughs> really disorienting intro. That start was just like... Like, I'm not a music theorist, but it just really came in like a weird beat, right? It's a very interesting one. 
It's not in a bad way. I might just be weird. This doesn't sound like their title, but as more abuse. Yeah, this sounds more like a double title and it's their like second title. Okay, let me try out Do or Die. Why does that significantly less views in this? There's like 10 million views less. I, I really hate talk box, huh? I just don't like it. Why? What are you guys' opinion on talk box? Do or die? Sorry. Yeah, do or die. Mm. So off the bat... Off the bat, it doesn't look like there are any vocalists that really click with me in that way. Guy's nervous as hell, dude. <laughs> Look at his ass of that bullet. Call Candy here. <laughs> He's like swallowing his spit right now, dude. I did this as his fifth take. He was trying not to laugh, and right now he is just. And green hair is being sentimental, and he's feeling it, dude. Green hair. Oh god. Oh god. I'm dude. Great A acting. All right, Con Candy here is trying not to mess it up. Okay. Wow, interesting. This has so many views. This is given a pre release, huh? So obviously I did this song was more for the feels and not for the sound. So I will not use this as a barometer as to if I like this group or not. Let's do do or die. Oh my fucking god, water bomb dude. Nyan? Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Zykers do or die. Oh so it. 19 million versus 25. It's only 5 million more 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 views. Let's go. Alright. Rockstar? Oh, well, we definitely gotta listen to that one. Okay, this seems like the main title. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. We're not doing the lamp pop anymore. Oh my god. Oh, 
Okay. He's a tenor. Let's hear it. Let's jump, baby. I understand. I fully analyze everything. I got it. I understand now. I understand now. I think it's very hard for hype to carry a song. It's it's very hard in this day and age. I, I hate. I, I'm sorry for the. I'm sorry for everything else. But I think you listen to their songs just for the rap. I I had to say it, man. The rap is probably the highlight for me. And when that is the highlight, the climax for a song, you're doing it wrong. Oh, the rap should never be the climax and the highlight for it. Everything else should sound really good, and then the rap is there to go the extra mile to make the sound extraordinary. You know what I mean? Make it fucking impeccable. One of the best of the best. But the bass foundation, it really just is a hype rock, rock song. You gotta listen to it at concerts. I think when, when you go to like Head in the Clouds, Water Bomb, and then they show up, they're hype enough for you to be interested. But like putting it on your Spotify, just listening to it on your commute, your commute drive, it's just not enough. It really is just not enough and that is why i prioritize more than that content experience and, and from a marketing point i'm glad that they completely strayed away from that at style it's still hype but this uh, but hype dance isn't an at's patent you know what i mean it's a lot of people do it and i'm glad they kind of strayed away from that from tricky house we'll see what their next song sounds like we don't stop we don't stop Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's way too many people. I'm not letting you in my house. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine members. Oh. 
Okay, <laughs> what just happened? Okay. All right, maybe changing genres is the play. We're still sticking with that rock, but now we're going full hip hop. All right. This is the redhead, this is the redhead from Tricky House. Oh, hey. Great start. Great start. The rapper is always a highlight, but let's see the rest of the base of the song. You know what I mean? The rappers got me hooked. Let's see the rest. They got three rappers, huh? Okay. This guy's voice. Oh my god, I love it. Classic build up. Is this their first actual build up? I think they are. This is their first actual build up. No, they used the rap for the build up in the in Tricky House. God, rap for a build was so good. But I think this is their first, like, uh, K pop song template build up that they utilize. Yeah. Yeah. What is that choreo? I don't know what you're trying to do with this chorus. I, don't, I really don't know what you're trying to, you're trying to make a statement, I think. <laughs> These are. Uh, geez, come on, man. Come on. Why are we doing this with the chorus? Make it a statement. Part's nice, but why did they have to screw up this song with this atrocious chorus? So round and round and round, you get it? You got me hooked here. I'm like, I'm still waiting for it. I liked it. It builds up the hype more for the chorus, but building up the hype for a dog shit chorus is not the way to go. I don't know why you're trying to make a statement here. What is this? This is not the chorus. This is not the chorus you should be doing. Post chorus is so nice for post chorus. Whisper? The dancing buildings? I hate talk about I think I just hate talk about now. <laughs> yeah, this I think <laughs> Wow, it kind of solidified my opinion on talk box We don't stop me no stop All right Wow. 
Wow, I think this is the debut quality, right? I'm trying to find out their color. I, I do hope with this song, they did kind of find uh, their path, right? The path to go. And I think their next comeback, if they do use this as the kind of uh, the barometer, the tester to see where the genre is going, I do hope that they use this as the barometer. And then for their comeback, they kind of polish up the negatives of this song. And then that's where I will fully be invested in them. But I think uh, songs that are trying to sound hype actually have the adverse effect by making it just not sound the hype at all. When you're trying too hard, if that's, yeah, if that's, that's like the best explanation. This entire song was just a statement. I don't know what they're trying to do here. The post-chorus and the, the, the intro to the chorus are excellent. The rap, excellent. I, I, like, this, I like this change up here to slow down. But... I think I could safely say that this isn't my genre. Um, let me just hear a snippet of all their other songs because I feel like we're not going to do any more of them. Let's just do it. And if you recommend this to me on Patreon, I'm just not going to bother doing it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you recommend me on Patreon, you know, I'm going to do all their titles here. Just a snippet so I don't got to react to them because I just, I just don't like the sound, man. All right. That's a long build up. That's a fucking Pirate King build up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so they, they implemented the 80s last 30 seconds into their chorus on this one. This is such a bad marketing strategy. You're debuting a new group. Please, you cannot be sounding like. Uh. These type of courses, the, like the last dance stretch is only good if the song, it's, it, <laughs> the best way I could compare is 80s is Halosia. That last 30 seconds, 30 seconds is so different from the entire song itself, it amplifies it even more. But just making that last 30 seconds the entire song, it kills the, the spectacle of it. You guys know what I mean? Unfortunate. Is there other song? Red Sun. Yeah, I just I guess I just don't like hip hop. I guess I just don't like hip hop. This isn't my genre. <laughs> this isn't my genre. Yeah, it's not for me. It's not for me. But overall, I'm, I'm not pissed for this recommendation. I, I like to broaden my uh, range of groups. There are going to be a few misses. There are going to be a few misses. And there are going to be a lot of hits. There are going to be a lot of hits. Boys Next Door. Purple Kiss. Uh, Extendary Heroes I'm still effy about. Uh, I know there's more. Weekly kind of popped off for me. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see.